Anyway, okay, in today in today puzzle we have this beautiful pawn on the seven uh, on the second rank, and his rook is somehow locked, but it's not too much locked. I can push the other pawn and try to make it queen, but that's a little bit slow, I believe. So what if I bring the king forward? And attack to his rook, for example. Uh, if my king was on f2, I was happy, right? But it is not on f2. And what can he do? Okay, I can lock his rook, I believe. Like, check at a8. Uh, sorry, check at a4 and then go to d1. Check a4, go to d1 with the bishop. And his rook is locked somewhat. Uh, he cannot easily move the rook. Okay, let's lock this rook. Okay, that was easy. Yes. Mm, the point was that once this rook is locked, uh, he cannot move. And uh, because of that, like after uh, this moves, suppose he tries to go there and to, tries to freeze his rook, uh, release his rook, sorry. Uh, release the freezed rook. Okay, and the, I can push the other pawn, for example. I can do many things. No, other like bring the king. The engine says any move basically is good. And no, this is somehow Suxuang. Like, uh, white doesn't have a good move to do. Like, uh, see what suggests. So just uh, says that give up the pawn to release the rook. Even after that, it's not enough. Like, he should maybe give up another pawn to open it. Yeah, it's uh, it's a very hard time for a rook to get in involved, and in meanwhile, my king, my pawns are running forward, and they will be, um, they uh, one of them will be queen. Okay, that was easy, and uh, okay, I got uh, just plus eight because at the start I had to uh, activate do not disturb option, and I spent like forty thirty seconds. I don't know when I start the video. When was I uh, the time that I start the video? Uh, uh some time I spent to deactivate uh, uh activate uh anti disturbance. Okay. No uh, no it's clearly one beautiful check at uh, D eight as a, <laughs> is there. But what's the follow up? Check, takes, check, takes. No, it doesn't take. Uh, no, just moves the king and check no, with the queen and brings the bishop in front. Then I can attack it. Okay, I don't know. Is it that simple? I mean, rook d8, rook takes, rook takes, uh, king. Uh, uh, the only move I see is king. Okay, uh, when, when I see, uh, the, when I say this, I remember Tennessee. The only 10 I see. <laughs> okay, the only move I see is like a rook d8, d8, uh, and then uh, another rook d8. Uh, king h7, queen takes h5, check. The only possible legal move is bishop in front of the king, and then bishop, uh, like bishop h6, and then I play bishop e3, attacking the bishop. There is no defense for that bishop, right? Okay, he takes my rook, suppose uh, still my rook is on d8 and undefended and his queen is watching over my rook. He takes my rook, I take his uh, bishop with the queen, for example. He escapes and it's a mate. I, I really don't see. Okay, uh, okay, maybe I shouldn't have spent that much time. Oh, shit. I should have thought about this before I move. Oh, bad. Uh, we don't have a complete positive output let's uh, let me before before uh, seeing the solution let's try what's important here what's the important point here so i cannot take that okay maybe it was better to first place the bishop here yes and then okay because if it was uh, taking like okay right now i should take the queen but if he wasn't taking the mm, queen, yeah, I, I, I did very mm, quick move. Like he was doing something. I don't know what can he do, basically. He 
he was doing something else i don't know what can he do because even this move is invalid i just can take it and it's a meat right because i don't give up the rook but i made it like this but even if i was giving up the rook i mean even in this scenario uh, uh, his check and i play bishop there okay bishop there is not positive it's still mm, white is slightly better okay one of this mm, confusing puzzles hmm what's this i mean uh, this looks like very simple right knight d6 and the mate in the back rank mm, mate at e6 uh, e8 because the king doesn't have any escape room he just can attack my queen i don't see any i don't see any good move for uh-huh uh -huh. he takes my pawn with the knight what it doesn't help much i just take this knight escape the only escape square i believe is b3 right and if he take uh, he attack with the rook i again take it he attacks with the pawn i can escape actually okay this is a queen this was easy one uh, let me tell you what was the plan I just play knight there, and if he is doing something like okay, something like uh, he is attacking my queen, this is a mate, right? Also, he cannot escape from this mate by playing pawn there. It still is a mate, yeah. Or uh, it doesn't matter where pawn here. It also doesn't help. It still is a mate. So what is the mm, uh, what is the point? Is that this mm, pawn and knight of me the, are tied together? So he has to remove the defender of my knight and i see my knight is defended and you know, like if you do something like that and this is game over right still after this moves he cannot move the king at all okay so what i can he do instead is to what he did i mean he takes i take and he take he took it to right his best oh sorry he tried to his best to prolong the game by sacrificing a queen. But still it doesn't work, right? Still, nah, next move is a mate. Okay, this is a common pattern. You should know if the knight is defended and um, uh, by pawn or queen, something like that, that or bishop that prevents um, uh, escape room of the king, then you can mate with the uh, rook at the bottom from the bottom okay next move uh, what's wrong with just pushing the pawn and making the queen mm, i don't see any problem with it i can push he can go rook back rank then i can say check and bring the knight in the to defend the back rank Okay, let's do the first push or first move, uh, check. Let's do the, the first push and then check. Uh, right now, clearly I cannot push the pawn, right? And if I lose this pawn, uh, I'm, I'm not losing the game, but um, if I give up this pawn for a, a rook, I, I'm, I'm not losing the game, but I'm not the one who is winning the game. He may queen the pawn, but a still a queen against two knights, I think, cannot mate white, but... Okay, what, can, uh, what I see here is uh, knight g5 check and then knight uh, e6 defending the f8 square, but I should find another useful move that blocks the blocks the kings in a, blocks the rook like i should i wish i had one of my knights on e8 then i could queen which knight goes to e8 uh if i play prematurely like uh, uh like uh, if i play like uh, knight f uh, f6 to play knight e8 then he plays uh, his rook to f8 and 
and I captures the pawn the next move. So I don't have time for that. So, and this is why I thought about covering the covering the uh, back rank f8, preventing his rook from coming there. And this is why I thought knight uh, g5 and then knight e6. But but this is not the end of the day yet uh, because I don't see how which knight I can go to e8. Is e8 the solution or can I mate him here? No, certainly I cannot mate him. Okay, I say check. I place the knight there and defend the back rank. He pushes the pawn. It's too slow, right? But let me give this first check. Okay, I was wrong. Uh, let's see analysis. I didn't. I couldn't find the solution. What's wrong with going there? This crazy checks. Uh, there are crazy checks of knights. Uh, oh, this is mate. Oh, this is mate. Two knight can mate king. I didn't know that. Honestly, I didn't know that they could mate king if king is in a bad position. And exactly because I didn't know that, I didn't thought that. I, I didn't thought about it at all. Like, okay, this is not good to be like me not thinking about impossibles. Like, uh, one knight and king, whatever position is, is not mate, right? But two knight can mate king in a special positions. Oh, that's. Oh. What happened? Still, we have one more puzzle at least. So, if I attack to this pawn, he just brings the king to the side and happily. If I play like king e4, he plays king d2. And whatever I play, um, I block my rook pass, so I cannot say check at d4. I, for example, I might play uh, king f3. In that scenario, if he pushes the pawn, I can say one check. He goes where? He goes down. Then I attack the... Then I attack the pawn with the rook. So let's uh, check it again. King e4, it shouldn't be so simple, right? King e4, uh, sometimes I'm biased that they shouldn't be so simple. King e4, king e d2, king f3. There are two possible moves for black, either pawn push or king move. King move is really bad. I mean, where does the king go? Like... Uh, D1, then I play rook e4, and if he push the pawn at this moment, I play king f2 and uh, eventually win the pawn. So the only possible move is moving the pawn, and if it move the pawn, it still is bad because, okay, because I say check at d4, he has to move the king this time, and the king either goes to e1 or uh or d no, d1 or i don't know uh, d1 is blocked uh, e1 or uh, c1 clearly c1 is bad because i take his pawn so it goes to e1 then i go behind the pawn and win it okay it's just too simple yeah yeah, we had a little bit of progress, and uh, I, the last move I was uh, that's uh, because I lost one one or two of the tactics because of rush. This last one I was a little bit suspicious that why it is so simple. Like uh, here we are going there. Here I had to move the pawn because uh, moving the king is useless, right? Or going here is useless, right? So moving the king away or next to the uh, pawn doesn't help so he has to push the pawn uh, but after we check it either he goes here then we 
go over there uh, is he goes e1 and we go over e4 and wherever he goes we take up uh, pawn next move or uh, after this check he leaves the pawn as um, what happened in the game and then we attack the pawn again either the queen is the pawn or um, brings the king in anyways we take it okay guys hope you enjoyed see you next time